it being past 11 o'clock on, on October 3rd, 2020, I call the town meeting to order. I will entertain a motion to admit. Mrs. Manupelli. Mr. Moderator, I move that the following persons be admitted to the meeting. Lauren Goldberg, Maureen Doherty, Janet Murphy, Carol Ducro, Maureen Stevens, Robert Collins, Sharon Kelleher, Mark Hamill, Michael Murphy, Rob Carboni, Phil Harris, Jason Smith, Patrick Daly, Danielle McKnight, John Klipfel, and Susan Magner. I have the motion to admit. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous? Mrs. Manupelli, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Please rise. The flag is to your left. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just a couple of uh, items. So for the uh, tellers today, in the event that we need to do a hand count, um, Marcy Bailey will be counting the front and the 40-yard line over that way, over, over to my right. And Irene Ewell will be counting the 50-yard line to my left. Um, please turn off your cell phones. And if you wish to speak, please stand so that I can recognize you. Uh, Chief Stats or Chief Murphy will bring the microphone to you. Be patient because they need to wash down the microphone between each speaker. And also, if you are speaking, obviously, you may lower your mask and please hold the microphone close and speak into it. They will sanitize it afterwards. Um, with that, I will entertain a motion to dispense with the reading of the warrant. Mr. Moderator, I move to dispense with the reading of the warrant and to refer to the articles by number and further to dispense with the reading of the return of service by the constable. I have the motion. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Article 1. Mrs. Manupelli. Oh, I'm sorry. Mrs. Gonzalez. Article 1, hear and act on reports of town officers and committees. I move to hear reports of town officers and committees as may be presented at this meeting. Are there any um, boards or committees seeking recognition to provide a report to the meeting? And I know of none that have reached out to me. So we have the motion. We'll accept the motion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Article 2. Article 2, prior year bills. I move to authorize from FY 2021, operating budget line 105, Hillview Country Club expenses, the sum of $149 to pay a bill of a prior year for sanitation services as specified in Article 2 as printed in the warrant. Does the Board of Selectmen wish to make a recommendation? Ms. Gonzalez. Select Board recommends. For the Finance Committee, Mrs. Hilbert. One, could you speak up louder, please? Sorry. Mm 
the Finance Committee recommends. Thank you. Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Article 3. Mrs. Gonzalez. Article 3. Transfer funds to the Capital Improvement Stabilization Fund. I move to transfer from free cash the sum of 200000 to be added to the Capital Improvement Stabilization Fund established under Article 5 of the October 1, 2007 Annual Town Meeting, as specified in Article 3, as printed in the warrant. Does the Board of Selectmen wish to make a recommendation? Mrs. Gonzalez. Select Board recommends. For the Finance Committee, Mrs. Hobart. Finance Committee recommends. Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Article 4. Article 4, Mrs. Gonzalez. Article 4, appropriate money to stabilization fund. I move to pass over Article 4 as printed in the warrant. Recommendation, recommendation for the Board of Selectmen, Mrs. Gonzalez. Select Board Passover. Recommends Ms. Passover. Mrs. Hobart. The Finance Committee recommends passing over. Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Article 5, Mr. O'Leary. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, Article 5, transfer funds to other post-employment benefits liability trust fund. I move to pass over Article 5 as printed in the warrant. Recommendation for the select board, Mr. O'Leary. Select board uh, unanimously recommends to pass over. We don't, we're not looking to make any transfers at this particular time. For the Finance Committee, Mrs. Hobart. The Finance Committee recommends passing over. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? Article 6, Mr. O'Leary. Article 6, Mr. Moderator. Uh, appropriate money to the Participating Funding Arrangement Fund. I move to transfer from free cash the sum of $389,096 to be added to the Participating Fund Arrangement Fund as further specified in Article 6 as printed in the warrant. The recommendation for the Select Board, Mr. O'Leary. Uh, Board of Selectmen unanimously recommends, uh, Mr. Moderator, and again, the, the balance of the fund is uh, over, a little over $700,000. Uh, we're recommending this is the uh, reserves which were uh, realized as a result of savings and money's not spent. We're putting it into the reserve account uh, so that in future years to help uh, offset um, rate increases or uh, extraordinary set of circumstances in relation to claims. So we would strongly recommend. Okay. For the Finance Committee, Mrs. Hobart. The Finance Committee unanimously recommends. Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Article 7, Mr. O'Leary. Uh, Mr. Moderator, amend fiscal year 2021 operating budget. Mr. Moderator, I move to pass over Article 7 as printed in the warrant. Recommendation for the select board, Mr. O'Leary. Recommendation is to uh, pass over because there is no need to amend the current fiscal year budget. For the Finance Committee, Mrs. Hobart. Finance Committee recommends passing over. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Article 8, Mr. O'Leary. Mr. Moderator, I move to pass over Article 8 as printed in the warrant.
Recommendation for the select board, Mr. O'Leary. Mr. Moderator, the board unanimously recommends passing over because there's no need to rescind any bonds at this particular point in time. Finance Committee, Mrs. Hobart. Finance Committee unanimously recommends passing over this warrant article. Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Article 9, Mr. Walner. Article 9, I move to amend the FY 2021 capital expenditures as voted under Article 15 of the June 29, 2020 annual town meeting by authorizing the following projects and all costs related or incidental thereto. Uh, by department project and amount funding source school, Hood School left $35,000 from the Capital Improvement Stabilization Fund. Again, from the school, Little School HVAC, 65,000 from the Capital Improvement Stabilization Fund. And the next four are from the DPW, the Upper Elm Street Drainage, $550,000 bond. Library Exterior, $130,000 bond. Police HVAC, $50,000, Capital Improvement Stabilization Fund. And the Police Locker Room, $25,000 from the Capital Improvement Stabilization Fund. And furthermore, in all instances where a bond is listed as a source of funds, said borrowing will be pursuant to MGL Chapter 44, Section 7, Paragraph 1, or any other enabling authority, and to authorize the treasurer with the approval of the select board to borrow said specified sums and issue bonds and notes thereto for. And further, that any premium received upon the sale of any bonds or notes approved by this vote, less any such premium applied to the payment of the cost of issuance of such bonds or notes, may be applied to the payment of costs approved by this vote in accordance with MGL Chapter 44, Section 20, thereby reducing the amount authorized to be borrowed to pay such costs by like amount. Recommendation for the Select Board. Select Board unanimously recommends. For the Finance Committee, Mrs. Horvitt. Finance Committee unanimously recommends. For the School Committee, Mr. Buckley. The School Committee voted at a previous meeting to recommend 5-0. Is there any further discussion? This requires a two-thirds vote. Seeing no further discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Article 10, Mr. Walner. I move to pass over Article 10 as printed in the warrant. For the select board, Mr. Walner. Select board unanimous, unanimously recommends to pass over. For the finance committee, Mrs. Horvath. Finance committee unanimously recommends passing over. Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Article 11, Mr. Walner. I move to appropriate from free cash the sum of $25,000 for the purpose of funding an invasive weed treatment program, including herbicide, monitoring, and costs related thereto, as specified in Article 11 as printed in the warrant. Recommendation for the select board. Mr. Walner. Select board unanimously recommends. For the Finance Committee, Mrs. Horvath. The Finance Committee uh, recommends uh, this is an important project and the $25,000 will take care of the treatment for three years. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? 
unanimous. Article 12, Mr. Walner. I move to transfer from free cash the sum of $50,000 to construct, reconstruct, or make improvements to town hall and other municipal buildings, including all incidental and related costs, as specified in Article 12, as printed in the warrant. Recommendation for the Select Board. Mr. Walner. Select Board unanimously recommends. For the Finance Committee. Mrs. Herbert. Finance Committee recommends. Further discussion? Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Article 13. Mrs. Manupelli. Mr. Moderator, I move to appropriate from free cash the sum of $9,999 for the purposes of repairs, maintenance, and improvements to historical buildings located on the grounds of the Reverend Daniel Putnam House, located at 27 Bow Street and identified as Assessor's Map 54, Parcel 63, and further to authorize the Select Board to enter into a grant agreement with the North Reading Historical and Antiquarian Society for said society to receive and expend such funds for the intended purposes in accordance with all public procurement and other requirements applicable to the town as specified in Article 13 as printed in the warrant. Recommendation for the Select Board. Mrs. Manupelli. The Select Board unanimously recommends this is town owned property that has been managed and occupied by the North Reading Historical and Antiqua Antiquarian Society and has been maintained by the Minute and Militia and it's the subject of a, of a uh, agreement that's been in place for decades. This article will provide funds to those two groups to be able to continue to maintain the buildings on behalf of the town. Recommendation for the Finance Committee. Mrs. Hobart. Finance Committee unanimously recommends. Is there any further discussion? Mr. Yule. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, I'd, I'd like to share that uh, we moved here in 1995, my family with my children, and we've seen North Reading grow in a very positive direction. Uh, my first introduction obviously was the Ipswich River Park, which is a jewel in our town. I began to learn more about Martin's Pond. I feel that that is a uh, a, a diamond in the rough for us, that it's a pond that could really um, uh, uh, be developed in a way and protected as it is being now uh, for the town. And now we have uh, the uh, historical uh, district, which has been there for some time, but it has progressed significantly through the work by the Minute Militia who volunteered their own time raised their own funds to create an historical district that is beautiful and that shows the history of North Reading greater than any uh, uh, parcel that we have within the town. So approving this would be a phenomenal addition uh, to our town and keep it there for our young to see that North Reading wasn't born the day that 
that new people, new children were born, but that it has a history and that it is a positive history and it would represent uh, everything that is good about North Reading. So I advocate that you vote in support of this um, article. Thank you. Any further, Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Article 14, Mrs. Mangiapelli. Mr. Moderator, I move to appropriate from free cash the sum of $25,000 for a consultant to complete an updated hazard mitigation plan and all costs incidental and related thereto as specified in Article 14 as printed in the warrant. The recommendation for the select board, Mrs. Manipelli. The select board unanimously recommends. This the, is. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Moderator. This is to update the town's hazard mitigation plan, which expires, and it will allow the town to seek additional funding sources um, in, in the wake of disasters. For the finance committee, Ms. Mrs. Hobart. The Finance Committee unanimously recommends and hopes you'll support this important article. Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Article 15, Mrs. Manupelli. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town accept the provisions of Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 33, Section 59, as specified in Article 15, as printed in the warrant. Recommendation for the select board, Mrs. Mayapelli. The select board unanimously recommends this is a benefit that's already being provided so that the board recommends that we accept the statute. For the finance committee, Mrs. Hobart. Finance committee recommends. Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous? Article 16, Mrs. Manupelli. Mr. Moderator, I move to appropriate from free cash the sum of $90,000 for a consultant to complete a traffic corridor study of Route 28 Main Street, including all costs incidental and related thereto, as specified in Article 16 as printed in the warrant. Recommendation for the select board, Mrs. Manupelli. The select board recommends. For the finance committee, the finance Mrs. Hobart. The finance committee voted uh, seven to one in favor of this article. This is an important study in so much that it goes hand in hand with some of the other potential development on 28, in addition to the possible uh, water line coming up 28 at some point. So hopefully you'll support it. It allows us to uh, possibly get other funds and to be prepared should the uh, Department of Transportation decide to do some work on 28. We will at least have a game plan and a wish list in our back pocket. Any further discussion? D does the Planning Commission wish to make a recommendation? Mr. Pierce. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. The Planning Commission recommends. Sir. Please, and please state your name and address for the record. Is that better? Here we go. Andrew Schultz, 4 Central Street. Um, I'm concerned about this article for a few reasons. Number one, when I was on the select board last year, when we went through the budget for this fiscal year, we realize that next year is really going to be a horror show because there's going to be a significant loss in state aid. 
So I think it's important we keep as much free cash in our coffers that we can. Moreover, on Article 16, I don't know why the town of North Reading is spending $90,000, which we could use in free cash, on a state road. The state should be doing this study, not the town. And I think we want to keep as much cash in our coffers as we can because the budget's going to be really tough to balance next year. And while I think this, this article is well-intentioned, I think our money should be saved and we should let the state spend the money that the state should be spending and not the town of North Reading. Thank you. Ms. Knight, would you like to address that? What, yes. Yes, uh, thank you. So we, we did have some recent conversations with the Department of Transportation. Um, at this time, they are not planning on spending money to um, help us with a, a redesign or reconstruction plan, but they expressed that they were willing to work with us in the future um, in hopes that we could develop a redesign. And that they were happy to hear that we are thinking of doing um, this type of necessary work now, um, prior to any sewer or water work happening in future years because of the desire to avoid reopening the roadway um, unnecessarily. Um, we really wanted to be prepared with this study so that we could coordinate um, all of the reconstruction work that we hope will come to pass on Route 28. Now, doing the initial traffic study and this initial conceptual plan is something that will allow us to potentially leverage a lot of federal and state funding for the actual reconstruction. But DOT is not planning on paying for a study like this now and potentially not for a number of years. Um, I don't know if there was anything more that you'd want me to add. Okay. Thank you. Pat. Pat Fillmore, 24 Field, Crest Harris, North Reading. And again, is this necessary? We've got tough times coming up. We have streets in the town of North Reading that are scheduled or should have been scheduled to be resurfaced, redone, sidewalks to be built, and yet we're worrying about a study to look into something that could possibly happen, but there's no guarantee, and $90,000, once that comes in, if you do plan on something, now you're gonna be paying architecture fees or people to draw up plans. It's gonna be money that just, we don't have at this time. Mr. Go Mr. Goberto. Can everybody hear me okay? How about now? Uh, so the reason that we're recommending proceeding with this study at this point in time is because the funding sources that a major reconstruction of Main Street would rely on have multiple year wait times. Um, there's a planning effort that goes three to five years out before a project is even relatively close to consideration for the funding sources that are outside of the town's control mostly federal and state uh, construction funds. And so the feeling was as we are getting closer to a determination relative to water, excuse me, to wastewater for the long term, that the time was now to get planning so that we don't end up in a situation where we've completed construction on wastewater down the road and we're also waiting still because the study has not been conducted. It's a very important first step in getting us um, on a path towards being a candidate for a significant amount of state and federal funding. And a delay now results on a delay on the back end for a, an already long uh, wait time. Even if we opted not as a town to vote in favor of a wastewater solution, um, one of the many things that we heard during the master planning process over the past couple of years was a desire to try to improve things on Main Street. This would nonetheless um, put us uh, on a path to do that, regardless of the outcome of a wastewater discussion. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Mr. Yule. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I think earlier I didn't say I was Jeff Ewell, 427 Park Street, so. Um, I've listened to all that's been said here and I kept going, yes, yes, yes. Uh, there's some uh, information here. I think when uh, Mrs. Herbert uh, spoke, I was uh, encouraged by the, the idea of planning for the uh, um, 
for Route uh, 28, and I thought that was a good idea. Then listening to uh, Mr. Schultz, uh, and you know, the state should have a role and play a responsibility in this as well. But the thing that stood out most in my mind is the past practices that we have done in town is that we've done many, many, many studies that wound up sitting on a desk and not being used. My fear here is as we proceed uh, is that uh, uh, with the state not having any plans to, any, to fund anything to uh, develop any study on um, 28 and no plans to do any work on 28 at this time, that by the time we get to that, it, uh, as it was said, it, a number of years before we get there, that this plan might be outdated or outmoded and have to spend another $90,000 or even more down the road uh, when we get there. So uh, we don't know if the, the uh, sewer system's gonna go uh, in this year or 10 years. We don't know if the state's gonna do anything in the, on Route 28 for 10 years, 20 years. And that this, this, um, uh, uh, this article will probably be outdated and we'll have to do it again. So that's what my big concern is. So in that regard, I, I, I can't support uh, uh, this article. Thank you. Anyone else seeking recognition? M Mr. Gilberto? Thank you, uh, Mr. Moderator. Just a couple of uh, other relevant pieces of information for the discussion. Um, you know, we've talked with our consult, the, the, the proposed consulting engineer, about the timelines, and they have uh, agreed that the timelines that we're working on would um, seem to be appropriate based on where the state as state is at for construction. I'd also just let you know that this project started as a $200,000 request for town meeting when we were initially looking to consider it in June. And we've worked um, with the assistance of Representative Jones to talk to the Massachusetts Department of Transportation about what would be an appropriate step. And I think they were in agreement that we didn't need to go that far, that we could do this planning effort here for us as a community to better understand what we want to see take place on the road and then work uh, hand in hand with the state moving forward and with state assistance, including financial assistance to the extent that it's available. Again, with a long-term goal of having a project that is sufficiently designed to compete for uh, a large uh, state or federal grant down the road. And again, that is an effort that would be relevant regardless of the outcome on the wastewater discussions that we anticipate having further in the future. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Any further discussion? Dan Mills, uh, Finance Committee, 5 Green Meadow Drive, North Reading. Um, our board had some of the same concerns that uh, have been brought up at the, the meeting um, relative to not having um, uh, money coming down the line uh, for next year being uh, going to be a struggle. Um, but what we came to the consensus uh, was that uh, this is a, a long-term project that needs some early action, um, some important early action in order to uh, put the town on the right path in uh, coordinating with MassDOT on uh, the project. Um, if we don't uh, direct MassDOT into what the town wants, what they desire, um, generally what their policy would be to pave the road as is, um, as a maintenance item. Um, I think we've been hearing a long time through our master plan studies and conversations in town that Route 28 needs, uh, needs a lot of work, uh, needs... Um, uh, uh, some upgrading, and I think this is the opportunity to do that. Uh, recognizing the financial constraints coming up, um, I think this is um, an early action item that uh, we should support. Thank you. Further, further discussion? Hi, my name is Rebecca Griffin. I live at 4 Emerson. And I sat on the meeting that they, uh, the 
Department of Transportation just had on Route 28 in Reading. And I will tell you that they did talk specifically about North Reading because they're conducting a survey right now on the work that they did changing the roads in Reading. So it was mentioned, this meeting that was coming up, and to see where our town stood in this article right now, but they know that it's in the works. And so in conjunction, because they're already working in Reading to see how the town votes. So I don't think it's gonna, something that's gonna take years if it's something is that we decide to vote on today because they are listening and understanding that this is a need. Any further discussion? All right, seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I'll entertain one more motion. I move to adjourn. Seeing a DA. On the motion to adjourn, all those in favor, please. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you all for attending. Um, enjoy the rest of this beautiful day, and please don't everybody rush out together and stay safe. Thank you.